Hi and welcome. Welcome to um, my studio. So I wanted to share with you a project that I'm doing and it's 100, the 100 day project and mine is 100 days of pastels. Now I want to show you the first 50 that I've done. I've still got about a month left to do and um, I'm really excited to see the growth um, of the next 50. I've already, um, it's, it's been amazing, an amazing time learning about the different pastels that I'm using. I'm currently using five different pastels, which are the Rembrandt, I'm using Conte, Nouvelle Car, Roni, and Royal Langenickel. And they're all different, um, a combination of hard and soft pastels. So even from this point where I've already done 50, I'm really pleased to see my growth. I think if you, or they say, you know, if you do anything for, you know, 21 days at least, that's forming a habit. And I'm, I think I'm, I've definitely formed a pastel habit. It was something that I didn't like to begin with because dusty <laughs> and there are a variety of different things that you can utilize so what I'll do is I'll show you a few of the um, tools that I'm using and then I'll show you the 50 pastel drawings I've done so far so some of the tools I'm using are not necessarily meant for pastels um, I'm using these and they're um, clay shapers and I find when I'm trying to create um, smoother kind of in between the lines so if you're doing um, a face so the, the bit around the face where you've kind of outlined the picture initially and then you filled it with colour I find that these get you some nice edges um, I used to use brushes but now I've got over the um, and I still do I've got some thin brushes here and I showed in another video where I've used brushes I've also got a um, paper stump and I used to use these with my graphite I still do and uh, yeah um, so I use these and I collect the dust and I've shown in another video where you can utilize the dust from the pastels or when I'm sharpening the pencils the bits that break off you can still utilize those so it's worthwhile holding on to them and I use charcoal pencil as well I've got a few other different varieties that I use and yeah that's what I've been um, but those are the kind of tools that I've been so I'm speaking a bit funny because my tongue I must have bit my tongue um, <laughs> as you do with an artist <laughs> anyway so let's get on to the 50 drawings that I've done so far or paintings they call them pastel paintings and I'm really pleased you'll see you'll definitely see the change in style it's 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 my style that you see at the 50th one or you know even before but it was getting used to working with the pastels that's the thing that I had to do in the beginning and then you could bring your style to play you know the the, the way that I would normally say do a acrylic is different from the way I do the pastels but it's similar to the way that I do say the watercolour pencils or inktense pencils which um, I've, I've used in the past and I really enjoy using them so let's get on and I hope you enjoy the 50 that I've done so far and I hope you join me on the rest of the journey to see what other images that I'll be coming out with I will be challenging myself even further because what's the point of doing a challenge if you're not going to really be challenged um, and um, yeah I've, I've really been enjoying the process so far it's really taught me that um, you have to give something a chance for at least 21 days before you make up your mind as 
as, as to whether you like it or not. That's what I've been doing in terms of the working with art supplies and I do that and will be doing that more showing um, a block of challenges where you can see the the growth in it, the things that you like drawing. Um, I didn't think that I would like doing landscapes and I'm tackling, will be tackling some landscapes. So um, yeah, so without further ado, let's go on. Hope you enjoy. Remember to like and subscribe and yeah, check out some of the other videos.